One of the advantages of lasers in general is all the different things you can engrave. Um, right now I'm just showing you a couple of different things that aren't your standard rectangular flat objects, and a few that are. Um, in any event, with LaserPro, we have gone the extra mile to make engraving these more unusual objects very, very simple. Right now I'm going to show you a variety of different examples, and this one we're going to start with is a dog tag. We're going to start by focusing. And what we need to do is locate the farthest left, the farthest right, the highest point, and the lowest point that we want to consider is in our graving area. In this case, I'm not going to the bottom of the tag because it's too small to use anyway. The machine will automatically find the center of our part for us, and once we hit start, the machine will engrave, in this case, um, some simple text onto that the anodized aluminum. The way we go about doing this in a laser pro is we're going to hit SP for smart position. Locate one point, hit F4 for save, move over to the second point, and repeat this process, F4 to save. And now we can either to the upper or lower, it doesn't matter which direction we go, we just need four points in any sequence. We'll choose this one and hit F4, and again pick the bottom, press F4. Once we press F4 for the fourth time, the lens carriage will jump to the center location of the part. All we have to do is Press start, and again, the machine will do the engraving. Again, these are all unique features to our Laser Pro line of equipment. The Spirit and Spirit GX, as well as the C180, have this feature. And again, just some other examples. In this case, we're just using an iPod. Locate our four points. And once again, once we press the fourth point, the machine will go to the center. Um, in this case, we're using a, a knife that will not go up against the ruler. There's knife uh, blades behind the back that would make us at an angle. So again, just I'm using a, uh, a location to get it straight. Now, I've already engraved my phone, but it's a good example. We can pick locations that don't re actually represent the center of the part, but the center of the engraving area. Now, sometimes we don't need actually four separate locations. Sometimes we need just two locations. We still have to use four points. So the way we do this is we pick a point, in this case the left side, and I'm going to hit F4 two times. F4 is going to save the same point or same location as two points. And now I'll move the pen over, I'm sorry, I'll move the lens carriage over to the left or right side of the pen. We'll save those two points. Now we have all four points, which is still just two locations. I just put F2 twice for each side. The lens carriage will go to the center of those points. I'm going to hit back to get out of this, press start. Simple as that. And again, this is a rectangular item, but it doesn't sit well into the machine because it doesn't lay flat unless I put it on top of something. And that's because it's rectangular, I don't need four points, I can just pick two points. So in this case, I use diagonal points. The same thing here. Again, this is an object that won't fit up with the rulers because there's something in the way on the top. So I'm using ruler and left just to get it straight. And again, it is rectangular, so I can use diagonal points. Now, some point, some objects are rectangular. They will fit great into the laser, but the engraving area doesn't match the material. So what we can do is, again, picking two diagonal, in this case, extreme points the upper right and lower left of the engraving area, and the machine will go to the center of those. Now this is a silk screen plaque, and the engraving area again doesn't represent the entire size of the plaque, so I can pick just two points which represent my engraving area of this object. Now sometimes also when you go with the silk screen plaques, the silk screen may not always be in the dead center. So what we can do is we can put the plaque in there and locate it centered on the silk screen area. In any event, we always go the extra mile to make your job easier to get quality. As we like to say, don't take our word for it, prove it for yourself. Ask the competition how they engrave on unique objects. It can be confusing when looking at engraving machines and every manufacturer claims to have the best machine. This video is just yet another way we can prove LaserPro is the smart choice.